which you guys got another video on how to fix the screen rotation lock grayed out on Windows 11 and Windows 10. You can see here in the display settings, you can see display orientation is grayed out and you can't do anything with it. You can't change it. And I'm going to show you a few ways to try and fix this issue. It is a common bug and I'll show you how to fix it. So first off, let's go to the start button and type services inside the search area here and open up the services pane. Once this is open, what we're going to do here is we're going to come all the way down in the services area and we're looking right here for sensor monitoring service. What you want to do here is we're going to double click on this and you can see this set to manual. We're going to set this to automatic and click start and let that start up here. Click apply and OK. You might want to restart your PC just to see whether that resolves the issue. We're going to move on to the next one, what you can try here. So next you're going to hit the start button and we're going to go in here and we're going to type troubleshoot and look for troubleshoot settings inside the search. And inside here, we're going to go for other troubleshooters. Now we're looking for the sensor one here, and I don't think there is one in here anymore. I think uh, Microsoft have removed it and retired it, but you can still download it from the Microsoft website. So do a look for their tool to download. It is retired, but there should be a link there that you can use to download it. I did manage to find it and I've downloaded it here and I'll try and upload it to my server. Now the sensors troubleshooter will correct a lot of problems and this could be to do with the rotation of our screen. So what we're going to do here is detect problems and see whether that fixes any issues. If it says turn on any features, just turn those on. Also let Windows update and download any updates that it might need on that system. Next, we're going to open up the registry editor. Type reg edit in the search and open up the registry editor. From here, we're going to navigate to this location right here. So we want to go to HK local machine. Then we want to go down to software then click on Microsoft, open this up and go to windows should be all the way down the bottom here. So just scroll down to where it says windows, click on the windows one and open that up and go to current version. Let me just expand here. So current version should be just down here. Open that up and we're going to go to auto rotation. So look for auto rotation and down in here it should be down here somewhere. There it is right here. I've just gone past it and there it is. So there's some keys inside here. We need to check to make sure they're in the right um, values. So the first one is enabled and we need to make sure that's on one. And you can see that is set to one there. So we need to make sure that that is set to one. And we can also check some of the other ones here, like the last orientation. And you can see that's set to zero and that's correct. So we can leave that as is. And then state enabled, that's set to one as well. And we need to create one more inside here, which might help with our issue. So let me go ahead and I'll create a new D word 32 bit value. But let's go ahead and right click on the blank blank space here and create a new D word 32 bit value key. Now I'll give this a name and what name we're going to give this is sensor. And we're going to give it another name called present all one word, but with capitals double click on this and give it a value of one. So let's go ahead and change the value data and then click OK. And that's correct. Everything's OK. You might need to restart your PC at this stage just to make sure that these are OK. So everything looks as it should be. So we can now close off the registry editor. And we'll give the machine a quick restart to make sure that that resolves any issues that we might be having with the system. So I'm going to quickly restart the PC. Now, hopefully one of these so far has fixed your problem. If not, I've got a couple of more that I can show you just to make sure that you've tried everything. So I'm going to go ahead and go into device manager here. Inside device manager, you're going to look for your display adapter. This is for your graphics. Make sure that it's working correctly. And you can see here, one of mine is disabled, but we do have a dedicated graphics card. 
So you want to make sure if you are using these that they have got the correct driver on them. You can always right click on these and update the driver and you can even try to uninstall the driver, restart the PC and then put the new driver on and hopefully that resolves the issue. So try both of those methods here. So next, another thing you can try is make sure Windows is fully updated with the latest version and you can check for updates and make sure that you have any additional updates like advanced options inside here. You're looking for optional updates. Make sure they're all installed as well and fully updated. If there's any sort of display drivers or anything like that, you need to make sure they're in to make sure it's going to be working OK. Once that's done, you can also restart your PC and hopefully that will resolve your issues. Anyway, that's going to be about it. That's how you can fix the screen rotation or display orientation grayed out on Windows 11 and Windows 10. And that's how you can fix it. My name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this video has been some sort of use to you. If it has, then give the video a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments section below whether you like this type of content because I haven't done a lot of fix-it videos for a while and uh, I think I'm going to get back to doing some of those because people seem to enjoy them more. Anyway, with that said, I'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks again for watching. Bye for now.